We're going to do a, a Paul Klee kind of building um, picture. So we're going to use this as a kind of guide to do our buildings. So, oh, look at my hand. Ew, what is that? I don't know. I did have one of these I sent to you. So if you can't have any news, if you don't have any magazines or newspapers, then you can use this. If you can't print anything out, then just you can get something out of a magazine. So, I'm going to show you like this. Even with the pictures, it's fine. Um, I prefer it if you don't have pictures, but we'll have a go. Okay, so you're going to start off by drawing some rectangles at the bottom. You don't want them all the same size and all the same height. It's supposed to be like a building, so... Um, so you want to vary it. Have some big, some small. So I'm going to have a little small one here. Then I'm going to have a big fat one here. Then maybe I'm going to have a really tall one here. Maybe another small one. How about a medium fat one? How about like that? So those are the front ones. So you can see there's all stuff down the bottom. I'm going to draw a line here. Now we want to do some buildings behind those buildings. So we're going to go up again. We're going to do the same thing and do different size squares. But we don't want to come through the building. We're going to stop if we hit another building. Another one here. I'm going to have one here. It's going to be, it's got a fish in it. That's crazy. I'll have another building behind that one. You can see it's kind of behind. And another one coming up here. Now this is quite, I want some uh, sky, but I also don't want it too much. So I'm going to do some buildings here. I'm going to do one right through our face. And I'm going to do another one here and maybe another high one here. So then it has a kind of up and down skyline. Now, once we've done that, we can start putting in roofs uh, and some windows. And we want to vary it. We don't want it all the same. It looks a bit boring then. Let's have a weird sideways one here. I don't want your pictures to be just like mine. I want you to do your own. And now I'm just going to start adding some details. So I'm going to speed this up. it and then I photocopied it and I colored it in two different ways so this one is with what kind of colors cold colors that's right cold colors so cold colors that make you feel woo are green blue and purple and you can do light light to green dark green light blue dark blue but there's the colors. And then I'd copied it. And so then I did another one in warm colors just to show you. So warm colors, think of the sun, it's red, orange, yellow. And I put some brown in there. People always ask me, what is pink? Well, pink is red and white. And white isn't really a warm or cold color, neither is black. So, hmm. I've always said I've left up to you. Strictly speaking, pink colors shouldn't be included. But if you really feel like you want to put some pink in this one or this one, I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, what other color do people say about black? 
Well, we've got black in both and we've got white in both. That's fine. Okay, so good luck. I can't wait to see your pictures. Uh, make sure you post them on Padlet so that I can see. And make sure you can leave comments on your friends' ones. Please keep it positive. So you can leave voice memos or voice comments or you can write it or you can give people likes or stars. So feel free to do that. It's really nice to get feedback from people. Um, okay, I can't wait to see your pictures. Fantastic. See you later.